Hey guys, my followers all know that 3D print airplanes, what is the best printer to buy? A Prusa. Everybody knows Prusa is the best printer to buy for building RC airplanes. 3D Lab Print provides files for a Prusa printer. I have 3D Lab Print Prusa files on this SD card. Stay with me, check this out. We're gonna go ahead and put this in a brand new printer that I just got, I've never used it. It's a Creality printer. It's half the cost of Prusa. Okay, I have not put any files into any software, no retraction tests, no test wing parts, none of that stuff. All that stuff that takes you guys half a day, a half a roll of PLA to test, we're gonna go ahead and just put a Prusa file from 3D Lab Print right on this SD card and put it in my brand new printer and see what happens. Okay, so we just hit print. I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble this printer. Stay tuned for how this print comes out. The cool thing about this printer is I actually ordered it right from Amazon, so it came really quickly. The link is in the description right below. Click it if you guys wanna get one of these printers. Uh, to assemble this printer, it was very easy. I'm not gonna go into huge detail about assembling this printer because there's a lot of other videos on YouTube that show you how to do that. And also, if you go on to, if you put the SD card that the printer has and you put it into your computer, then uh, Creality actually has their own video that shows you how to assemble it. Okay, so now that we have the printer all assembled, it has auto bed leveling. It's, it's amazing, okay? It's like the best thing that printers have been coming out with. That's what all the printers have been coming out with new variations of their old printers, and they all have auto bed leveling. It's the best thing ever. So what we gotta do is just go ahead into the leveling page on here and click level. It's just gonna go ahead and do its thing. It's gonna pop down a little trigger and go around and level the entire bed everywhere. And once you get it all leveled, uh, you're gonna go ahead and wanna take a traditional piece of paper and we're gonna go ahead and stick it underneath the extruder and then you're just gonna adjust the Z offset. So you wanna do the same thing where you just go ahead and make sure that it can move a little bit with a little bit of tension and then you're good to go. All right, so now that we have the build plate level, this thing is ready to print. Uh, now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I just went ahead and put a Prusa file into the printer and I'm going ahead and loading it. Now, for you guys that are not using a 3D Lab Print STL file that they provide you and you're using like a plane print or an Eclipse in airplane and you want to actually set up your own slicer software in Cura, Creality did the hard work for us. In the top of the printer box, when you first open the box up, there's this piece of paper right here. This paper has the retraction speed 35 to 45 millimeters per second, retraction distance for direct drive for regular material for PLA is 0.8 millimeters of retraction. For TPU, you're gonna use two millimeters. If TPU is a little softer material, so you do wanna have a little bit more retraction even with a direct drive printer. Direct drive printers are the best printers for printing 3D printed airplanes. Most of the printers that I have that I use on a regular basis for printing all my airplanes are direct drive. The reason being is because there's so much retraction, so much priming that you need to have a very consistent uh, system that will print well because you're using that single wall construction and you really need that, 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 uh, that quality. So let's see how uh, the Prusa file comes out on this printer. All right guys, four hours later, I am shocked. This is amazing. This is the best quality of print I've actually seen so far. I know that's crazy. I've done a lot of printer reviews and everything like that. I do not have a Prusa. I put these files from a Prusa right onto the printer and it came out perfectly. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pull this build plate off. And then we got the part on there. You can check out the quality. It looks super, super good. Now we're just gonna go ahead and bend this build plate and it'll pop the part off. Boom, there you go. It's off and the part, uh, the build plate is ready to go for the next piece. This is the actual original build plate that came with the printer. It works really good. I did actually get another build plate. Uh, it's a PEI steel plate. So if this ever gets worn out, like sometimes when you're scraping the parts off, sometimes uh, they'll get a little bit worn out from use and everything else. So I got a PEI steel plate. Uh, it's still from, it's still a Creality product. Um, and this will just go right on your build plate. So it says Ender on there. It actually has a magnet that it comes with. So if your 
if your printer doesn't have a magnet yet, you can go ahead and put this on there and then you can put your steel plate on there. But because this has a magnet, we can just go ahead and take this build plate off and throw this one on there. And then boom, you got a new build plate. This build plate is a little bit more uh, abrasive than the original build plate. So it, uh, it'll have a little bit more adhesion, which will work really good for printing airplane parts out. There's very minimal build plate contact you can see on these parts for how tall the piece is and how much detail is printed inside there. So you wanna have the best adhesion you can get. So this will actually help you with the adhesion or else if your printer bed you know, wears out a little bit, like I said, you can go ahead and throw that on there. So the link uh, for that is in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next build.